Hello techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate desktop tutorials. As we know, Microsoft announced a desktop based robotic process automation tool that is Microsoft Power Automate desktop, which is right now in the preview state. In this module, we will learn how to download Power Automate desktop from the Microsoft Power Automate portal and also we will learn how to install Power Automate Desktop RPA tool in our PC. All right, before going to know how to download and install, first of all, we'll see what are the prerequisites required to install these things. If you see the prerequisite, we required the subscription with the Microsoft Power Automate, which you may have. If you don't have this Microsoft Power Automate license, you have to buy it and then only you can go ahead and you can proceed further to work with the Microsoft Power Automate desktop. This is the first prerequisite to, you know, to install and to log in into the Power Automate desktop. All right, first of all, we will learn how to download the Power Automate desktop application by using Microsoft portal. All right, now already I'm in the flow.microsoft.com. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the Power Automate desktop. So by using Power Automate desktop, we can go ahead and we can create UI flows, right? So for that, we need quite software. So where we can find it out, first of all, once you log in into the flow.microsoft portal, there you will find my flows. Click on that. As we know, by using Power Automate Desktop, we can create UI flows. So whenever we want to create UI flows, then we are going to use Power Automate Desktop, right? So that we are going to be selecting UI flows, click on that. And there you can go ahead and you can create a UI flow. This is how you are going to create a flow by using Power Automate Portal, right? If you see over here, build a UI flow. There are three different options that we had. You can choose any one of the option to create a UI flow. One is Power Automate Desktop, which is right now in the preview state. Another one, Windows Recorder. Another one, Selenium IDE. Now, this is recently introduced by Microsoft, right? So this is the Power Automate Desktop preview. You can see over here, you can enjoy the ease and speed. Now, in addition to recording UI flows, you can pick from hundreds of pre-built drag and drop actions to create an automation. This required Windows 10 computer with 64-bit operating system. This is one of the prerequisite which you have. And also along with that, you required subscription for the, you know, to build the UI flows and to install the software on your desktop and then you are going to log in into that. All right. Now we are going to be, uh, you know, creating the UI flow by using this Power Automate desktop, right? I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on next. You can see over here, build a UI flow. You are about to go Power Automate desktop over here. So as of now in my, in my PC, I don't have any kind of Power Automate desktop software. Okay, still what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a flow with the name of Power Automate test. I'm just going to give the name over here and then I'm going to click on launch. Now, if you see, we are going to get this kind of window over here launching the Power Automate desktop app. It will take a moment to launch the Power Automate desktop. If the app does not open, try to, uh, try to do the following. First of all, you required to get the app Okay, so if you don't have the application, so then or the software, you need to download it first. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to download the Power Automate desktop app. Click on that. Before going to click, you can see over here, download and install the Power Automate desktop app and the extensions for the browser extension also, you will get it while you are going to be getting this app. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click download over here by using this get the app clicking on that now if you see automatically it is getting started to download it once the download has been completed you will get the software over here so this is in a way it is redirecting from the portal to you know 
build the UI flows and then there itself, you will get the software for the Microsoft Power Automate desktop app. Now you can see setup.microsoft.powerautomateuiflow has been downloaded successfully. Now this is the way how we are going to be downloading this Power Automate desktop app, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install this app on my computer. Just double click on that. Once you double click on the software that you will get it, this kind of pop-up, UI flow setup. You can see install one or the both the package. One package is related to the UI flows. Another one is related to the Power Automate desktop. This is in preview state. So by using UI flows, you can record and uh, run the desktop on web UI flows that is package related to the browser extension. You will get third party components over there like Selenium ID and all these things. Now, if you see over here, that another Power Automate desktop, which is in preview, that we can get all pre-built drag and drop actions to create our automations. There also we will get the extensions for, you know, extension component, third party components and browser extensions, you will get it over here. Okay, all right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on next and you will get lot of installation details over here, where to install this UI flows. You can see installation flows, you install Microsoft Edge also, you are going to be installing with this and also install UI flow browser extensions on Microsoft Edge as well as Google Chrome. These are two related to the UI flows and along with that, you are going to install Power Automate desktop, which is in preview. All right, now if you see under that, I'm going to install the Power Automate desktop along with the browser extensions. And I'm going to install the shortcut on the desktop for this Power Automate desktop app. And also I'm going to let Microsoft collect the usage of the data. I'm going to select this option also. Before going to install this, I need to agree with the terms and conditions. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to click on install. It will, it will take a minute to install all these things and then you will get an icon on the desktop. Now, if you see, my installation has been successfully completed. Now you can see there are just two more steps before you're going to start that. One is that enabling the extensions that is related to the UI flows, another one launching the app. Now, from here directly, I'm going to launch this app, launch Power Automate Desktop by clicking on this. Now, if you see, a shortcut has been created on my desktop for the Power Automate desktop. From here, we can open the Power Automate desktop. All right, now I will show you the extension for the Google Chrome. Let's double click on the Google Chrome browser. And there on the right hand side of the browser, you can find the extensions. Click on that. And there you can see over here, uh, I'm having UI flows in Microsoft Power Automate. This is the extension we have. So no access needed, it's already enabled. If you want to manage them, you can go ahead and you can manage by clicking on manage extension. Click on that. Now, if you see over here, Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Preview add-on for enabling web, up, web automation actions. This is all, if you want to enable that, please click enable over here so that it is going to be enabling. Okay, and in the same way, you can see Selenium IDE also has been, you know, extension has been installed successfully as we have seen for the UI flows. So to enable this one also, you can go ahead and you can enable for the UI flows. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the Power Automate desktop by double clicking on the desktop icon, double click on that. And uh, by using your credentials, please log in into the Power Automate desktop which is in right now in the Power Automate desktop preview. And here, how it will looks like. You can see over here, we can create a new flow and also we can get a search over here and then you can go ahead and you can create any kind of new flow. As of now, I don't have any flows over here so that it is showing as blank. In the next session, I will show you how to create a flow by using Power Automate Desktop. All right, I hope you understand how to download the Power Automate Desktop software and also we have seen how to install Power Automate Desktop on the, bro on the local desktop. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate desktop tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye, have a nice day.